My name is Joanna Griffiths and I'm the founder and CEO of Nixwear and we are reinventing women's intimates. I spent about eight years working in the media and entertainment industry. So my first job out of college was I was publicist for rock bands. <laughs> I started Nix because I had a conversation with my mom. She's a doctor and a mother of four and we were talking about all of the changes that happens to a woman's body like during and post pregnancy. So it's one of those conversations where you learn like all of the secrets all at once and you leave like a little little bit uh, <laughs> traumatized. And so one of the things that I learned was that one in three women during pregnancy, post-pregnancy can leak a little when they like laugh or sneeze or do a jumping jack. And I was in my mid-20s at the time and like really just couldn't imagine the concept of having a baby and making a pit stop at Walgreens or CVS and picking up the pens. Like nothing seemed less relevant to me. I was just really struck by that huge consumer problem. And when I went back to school, I started interviewing hundreds of women, really spent a ton of time listening, understanding what women wanted. And by the end of a year, I was obsessed, like literally obsessed with leak-proof underwear. It was the only thing that I would talk about. We had a really successful Kickstarter campaign for our first bra. I think in the end we ended up doing like over $1.6 million in pre-sales, which for me at the time as an early founder was like mind-blowing. What people don't know is I didn't want to do a Kickstarter. Running a business is actually really hard. Almost out of obligation, not by choice, we decided that the best way to bring this product to market was to have customers help us bring it to market by pre-order. Like I knew that the product was really good. I fully believed in it. But I think I underestimated just how much women were craving like a very comfortable, versatile, wire-free bra that truly gives support. All of these things happen that you never really expect are gonna happen and um, you just kind of like hold on tight and every day are super thankful. You know, I think when I look back at that period of time, I'm so grateful for it. It was certainly like one of the biggest highs, but I think it was also paired with some of the the lowest lows. I all of a sudden had to change my attitude and the way that I looked at myself and be like, okay, this isn't a small company. This could be like a huge, huge brand. What happened after that campaign is I basically went into hiding. Um, so I spent about a year just like working on the back end and I'm super proud to say that we've rolled out a ton of new products and we're really moving from being this sort of single hero company where we make leak-proof underwear, we make like an amazing 8-in-1 Evolution bra, and now we're redefining the whole category. There are just under 40 people. We have an awesome group of people that work together, and we have seven guys on our team, the most interesting of whom I like to think is my husband. I'm a wife and a boss. When I was questioning myself and my own abilities, someone gave me a really great piece of advice, and it was this idea of don't feel like you're fighting for yourself, fight for something so much bigger than just you. From the very early days in NYX, we've always fought to change the way that women feel about their bodies. Um, we do that through our products, we do that through our marketing, we only uh, photograph our customers, we've always been size inclusive as a brand. When it's in your DNA, it becomes a lot easier to keep the mission true. My biggest piece of advice for women who are interested in starting companies or starting a company is pretty simple. Make something that people need. Like don't make something that you need, make something that a large group of people need. Because I think ultimately what's at the success of NYX is that we listen to women and we're making products that they need. And it's so much easier to sell things when people actually need it. Thank you.